Hi, this is Teresa at Travel by Books. And today I've got not just a pen to show you. And I hope you'll tell me what you think about it. It's not just a pen. I literally mean that's the name of this pen. Not just a pen. Look at this. Isn't the resin beautiful and unusual? I was scrolling through AliExpress and this pen caught my eye. The beautiful blue shimmer captured my attention and there were, there were several lovely photos in the ad. The photos featured the pen, a very nice display box, and an ink bottle. But the ad clearly stated that the box was not included, which I thought was a pity. But I decided to take a chance on this pen, mostly because of the color, and the pen has a Schmidt nib. And for only $25.67, I thought I'd risk it. And when the pen arrived, lo and behold, I received the pen in this presentation box. With some filling instructions. and a velvet pen rest. And a bottle of ink. There is no identifying English name on the ink, and normally I would be reluctant to use an unbranded ink. But in the spirit of discovery, I inked this pen with the ink, and I am very well pleased. The pen is a cigar shape with a stiff, sword-shaped rose gold clip and a plain rose gold cap band. The cap comes off in just over one and a quarter turns to reveal this fine Schmidt nib. Notice that the nib is regular gold color as opposed to the rose gold furnishings, but that's okay. I love the rose gold with this mysterious blue resin. Now the pen has some weight to it. The section looks as if it were made of plastic or resin. But upon closer examination, I see that it is lined with brass. And of course, it comes equipped with an unbranded converter. And here you can see that brass lining. Having metal in that grip section gives the pen the perfect weight and balance in my opinion it makes the pen very comfortable to hold and write with and you can see here that i am getting ink all over my fingers and i had to step away for a moment to wash my hands i can't seem to do a pen video without getting ink all over myself so now we will do a size comparison, and I have especially chosen pens that are cigar-shaped and have similar designs. And this is a Narwhal or Novelor Key West pen in the Largo Blue resin. Very sparkly. And this is a Hongdian 5010 in silver. And this is the pen BBS 308 in the Niangal resin. And of all the pens here, I think that the not just a pen most closely resembles the pen BBS design. They even have the same shape clip.
and this is the Delight New Moon 2 in the Rose Resin, and it also has some similarity to the Pen BBS design. And I swatch the ink, and it just seems to be a nice, plain black, basic black ink. The cap does not post. But the pen, in my opinion, is a perfect size weight, balance, and diameter to be very comfortable in the hand. This pen writes very smoothly. I had no hard starts, skipping, none of the things you sometimes experience with a newly inked pen. But you would expect a nice performance out of a Schmidt nib. I was very pleased with the performance of the ink in this pen too. I wish there were some way for me to find out what brand of ink this is. It works very well in this pen. This is a stiff steel nib, so you wouldn't expect any line variation. But you can get some reverse writing. I feel like this is a, an absolutely perfect pen for journaling, for a planner, anywhere that you need a pen that writes a very fine, neat line. Wow, that's a dry ink. No drying time needed here. I'm obsessed with this pen. I feel like I've discovered a small treasure. This pen will be inked and will be an everyday pen for me. I'm blown away. It's pretty. It writes a fantastic fine line. It writes dependably. It's comfortable and it's fun. It's not just a pen. Tell me what you think.